Scott, please welcome Palmer Faith. Oh, <laughs> my idol. Oh, see, this is a good <laughs> combination. Fan club going on on here. your birthday as well, Don. Perfect. But Paloma, we haven't seen you for ages. It's been three years. You've got new music, and you say. This is the new era of Paloma. Everyone calls it a break, don't they? But you're just like a duck in the water, just doing that the whole time. So I wouldn't say it was a break. I've been working frantically and raising children and stuff. But yeah, new era. It's my. It's hopefully my milf era. I'm hoping. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Definitely Why not? is. Why not? <laughs> I like that. With a like sprinkling of desperation. I just... <laughs> That's not what I expected to come out, was it? I, 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 didn't, I didn't see that coming out. Uh, now, your new single, How uh, You Leave a Man, it's out today, and we've got an exclusive look at the video, so let's have a look. This is how... Oh. Yeah. It's about... It's powerful. Uh, there are certain moments with a glass of wine where that would go down very well. Well, I think um, lots of people keep saying to me, like, I feel ostracised, and I just want to put the message out there that you can just leave a man for the weekend as well. Doesn't need to be permanent. <laughs> not, yeah, I think not a lot forever. Of people who are getting offended at home. I don't always mean permanently. You can interpret it yes. as you choose. Yes, yeah. to all. Exactly. <laughs> but it, it's a bit of an insight into your personal life. Mm. Was, was this one a hard one to write? Um, I think the whole album, which is due out um, early next year, um, was difficult because it's like, how do you write about anything else if you're, all you're thinking about is the biggest moment in your life? And it's like, obviously, there's children involved and it's a bit of a different experience for me breaking up with someone than just, like, the cut and runs of youth. Um, it feels difficult, it feels harrowing, it feels like I'm scared and want to be really careful because I'm very protective of my family. Yeah. I think my family's changed shape as opposed to ended. But, um, yeah, this is kind of like an autobiographical moment and I'm actually more terrified talking about it and presenting it than I have with any other thing. Because in the past, when you go out with someone you haven't got kids with, you're just like, ah, screw you. I'm just going to tell the world you all, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it's different. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's difficult. But um, I'm, I'm really proud of the body of work that's yeah, coming out. You should be. And, and you know, that, that whole process of kind of, like, putting those thoughts and those feelings down on paper, <laughs> blurting them out in your music videos and, you know, when you're going on tour and stuff, is that, you know, cathartic for you? Is that, a, you know, a feeling of just, like, you know, like therapy almost, I'm guessing? Absolutely, and the thing that was really important to me in this record writing process is that quite often we hear about women as victims in mm. these situations, and I wanted it to be empowering. I wanted it to be invigorating for people and feel strong and... You know, you've you've been through both. Uh -huh. <laughs> you you I'm know, like living, living evidence that there's another it, there's, chapter, Paloma. Yeah. Oh. Another chapter. But it's always. like it's sort of that thing of just wanting to empower and not just be, you know, representative of the victim yeah. thing. So that was really important to me. Yeah. Well, the album though, glorification of sadness. That yeah. it is. You want it to be a celebration. Don't you? It's, 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 not, a hopeful... it's not a list of sad songs. It's hopeful, as you say. Yeah, I think the whole album's chronological. When it comes out, you'll hear, but it, it sort of documents all the stages of grief. Some of them are, like, really childish and awful. Like, there's songs on there that are a bit silly. Some of them are, like, you going out, then there's moments of introspection. I think this is a great introduction to the album, and it's basically saying, you know, this big thing happened, and how am I going to sort of pursue life after this huge life-changing mm. moment? And it's all about dealing with themes of, like, feeling a failure, feeling um, empowered, and you ping-pong between all of them when you grieve, don't you? You do. Yeah. So. I think you're being massively honest. It's yeah. a really powerful thing. Yeah, um, yeah thank you for opening up about it. And, yeah. gosh, thank we wish you. you all the best. And there'll be a lot of people out there listening to you going... Right, thank there's you, a real te yeah. There's a real bit at the end of the video, if you go and watch it on YouTube, because um, I'm excited about where you see the kids at the end, and that's, like, not mine, but, like, actors. No, yeah. But, like, um, I think that's really important as, like, a sort of framing is, like, they're the most important thing. And I'm out on tour in oh, April. You are. Yeah. I hope you'll all be coming. <laughs> yeah. Dawn, come Dawn always you. comes to I every tour, come. actually. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> where are you at my tour? 
Just saying. <laughs> Where's the reciprocation? <laughs> just saying. OK. <laughs> I love it. Oh, <laughs> hello, <friend>. Miss... <laughs> oh, God. Hello, <laughs> Miss Single. How You Leave a Man is out now. And tickets for the tour go on sale next Friday. Best of luck. Oh, thank with you. It all. Uh, so, good. I think I've got time for some messages quickly. Uh, Charlie's written in, thanks, Dawn, for making us all cry laughing. Yeah, oh. and loads yeah. and loads of messages oh, wishing yeah. you a very, very happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Thank I'm you on for you, Ploma, as well. Yeah. Jess has written and said, we're loving the new single and excited for when you come to Bristol next year. Thank oh, you. You just loving it. What a show. bumps when you were talking that. <laughs> Brilliant. Got to go to the show now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, thank you to all of our guests tonight. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with Roman and we'll be joined by Jason Manford and Michael Ball, plus the team at the repair shop. Help us with a one big thank you. It's super special. See you then. Good Goodbye. Bye.